to. Okay, guys. Uh, there's a quick one. We're going to make this day good. We're going to make this day good. And here we are on a, Here we are on another day. It's already good. We're making it that way. What's up, Driver Mad? What's up, Rasta Homer's with us? Good to see you again, bro. So, look. I've been away for a second. Why have I been away? Let's take a guess. No, not because of you. Well, partly because uh, of our involvement in the mind control program. If you haven't seen me for a while, I've likely been assaulted and barraged by weaponized uh, psychotronic machinery in the name of domestic security. What's good, brother? How's things? Things are great, man. I've commandeered the mind control machine. I'm now being targeted instead of with uh, gang stalking and gaslighting and fucking voice to skull. They still use all those things because that's all they have because uh, they can't come at you straight and come knock on your door and say, hi, neighbor. Instead, I've been targeted with the Immaculate Heart of Mary over artificial telepathy. All right? Instead, I've been uh, I've been letting everyone in Multnomah gaslight themselves with quotes from the Bible. Step right up to the Petri dish and argue directly into the, the circle of truth. Multnomah. Gee, thanks, Multnomah. Actually, I want to thank Multnomah for encouraging me to get a, uh, a vaporizer. The mind control program, Multnoma, encouraged me to get a vaporizer and lay off the cigarettes. They did that. Yeah. They did that. And believe it or not, believe it or not, believe it or not, I filed, a, I filed a FOIA request like a year ago and I haven't heard anything, believe it or not. What's up with that? I thought it was a Freedom of Information Act going on. Anyway. I love all my uh, I love all my perps, you guys. I love all my perps. They're good feds. They're former military, many of them. They're decent people. Decent They're trying to do the right thing. Decent people. They're actually good cops a lot of times. A lot of times. A lot of times they're good cops. Are they cops? Or psychotronic, are they feds? psychotronically, are they cops or are they feds? psychotronically. Uh, what is it? Uh, abusing check everyone. Check this out. Brother, can I ask you something? Always. I love great questions. Please I'll ask me something. I'll Cops down in Portland, and there's, and there's a different situation. It'll unfreeze. Okay. Well, the two different kinds of cops that we have down in Portland are cops that are there to do their job, and then the other cops that we have are down there are cops that are, that are there to uh, just make whatever fucking report that they want to fucking make. Just make, doing their and jobs. Just make, and make shit up. They're just doing their jobs, too. They're just doing their job. But the other ones that are there to do their job. There's some good ones. Man, there are some great people there that are, are, that are on, 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 on Portland. Uh, hey, remember Clark County Police uh, gave us a jump the other day? I do remember that. That was a that great... That was pretty cool. That was a great officer. Right that was there. a good guy. Okay, so Ro uh, Rasta Homer, let me know all that while I do this. You got a question coming. <laughs> Rasta Homer's got a question coming. You guys, I'm just doing this before work, so let's get it in. I got to go to the day job soon. The day job. want to book a session... PayPal.me backslash brother Dane. Hey, it's Luke Harper. Hey, look. Let me say what's up to Broken. Because I've never, I don't know who the fuck Luke Harper is. But if it looks a little bit like Jesus, if it looks a little bit like Moses, or Charlie Manson, or the Unabomber, or uh, uh, who's the other guy? Osama bin Laden. Or David Koresh. If that's who that guy you just said looks like, something like that, then cool. David Koresh. Cool. That's like, does he have a beard? I bet this guy has a beard. The embodiment. Of Look David him Koresh. up, Luke Harper. I bet Luke Harper is a bearded man. Is he a comedian or what? I, th I think it's from. I think it's from the Duck Dynasty. Is he an actor? Oh, he's from Duck Dynasty. I think it's from Duck Dynasty. Oh, I've heard that one before. I take anything back I had about credit worthiness of that comment because I've already heard it. He's got a beard that's exactly the same. If he's Duck Dynasty, I take back all credit I gave you for that comment. He has to not be in Duck Dynasty for me to give a first fuck. Did you know? What's up, Rasta Homer? Did you know that that the uh, What's your question, bro? The Duck Dynasty guy is, right? I think I know him. Well, I think they're I know him. I know who opted out. They're from Monroe. Okay. I mean, they're from Louisiana, dude. They used to not even have their fucking beards. Oh, they just grew them for the show. Yeah, they're, they're fakers. Like, yes, they're fakers. They're they're they pussies. They they're pussies. Stuff. You know what? I didn't grow this beard just for the show. I, mean, I grew I'm this beard because I'm a living I'm fucking man. I'm from Louisiana, and I'm telling you, man. You're growing your beard you're, out? No, you're from Louisiana. No, but that's, no I'm, I'm not growing my beard, beard out. I'm growing my fucking beard out. You look like a bum. It's not what your mom said, you FC fan. It's not what your mom said, Justin. Your mom said, I was like, this dude looks like Jesus Christ. Because she's smart. She tried to teach you. 
It looks cool, of course it does. Rasta, I'm trying to hear your uh, question though. Only like Jesus, only like Moses. Did Moses look cool out here? Brother, when did you, when did you, when you did your beard up and your hair, you looked pretty handsome, no homo. So you want me to trim my beard and like get, get my hair back like that? I feel you, you rock that hair and beard. It really will look good in the band in any way. Just crazy. It look, it's just like when I roll out of bed, band, bah, we're in the band, you know? We are in a band. We're in a band. We're on a mission from God. We're on a mission from God. We're putting the band back together. We are. How much for the little girl? Wasn't that a scene in there? That was a scene in there. How much for the little girl? Okay. Uh, Rasta, is that your question? Rasta had a question. He forgot it. He got stoned. But you guys, we got about two minutes. Let's get it in. Also, I'll say it's a beautiful day out here. If you didn't know already, check it out. Check uh, that out. So, what are you doing today, Luke Harper? Oh, just uh, what do the Duck Dynasty guys do? What do they do? Uh, I'm having build, going build. down to the pawn shop and build motorcycles and stuff. Yeah, yeah, they do stuff like and, that. And create and create fucking staged ass hijinks with my uh, family and friends for the cameras. For the cameras. No, actually, I'm gonna save the world by commandeering the fucking mind control program. So. Make sure you own the space, dude. Make sure that uh, make sure beware artificial telepathy and. Fucking claim your rights as a human being to wield the technology. You'd be like, look, I'm out here. Plug me up. Plug me in. Turn me on, dead man. That's what she needs to say. Turn me on, dead man. Google that shit. Google neuro, uh, neuroengineering and say, turn me on, dead man. Why you don't keep your style on fleek? Person, I got three numbers in life. This dude, everybody's like, get on them fees. Get on them fees with it. I know, look. And all the fees like, why don't you trim your beard? And I'm like, you know what? I'm at a certain point in the mind control program where maybe I will trim my beard because maybe I will. Maybe tidy it up. Tidy it up but I could because I'm to appear well in any company and everything. But also, you guys, I want everybody to know that your beard doesn't fucking matter in the mind no, control it program. It doesn't, it doesn't ultimately until we are in until the war is over. Your beard doesn't fucking matter. But I also see that tactically, as I move forward, you know, there's reasons to do that. I think I've I think I've expressed myself with my beard thus far very well. I'm comfortable with the statement I've made at, at, at this time, by this time. Dirty Frenchman Glass is here. Broken Matt Hardy is here. Rasta Homer is here. You should keep the long hair on top and cut this. That's why I ever said. I trim the beard, keep the longer hair. For sure, for sure. I'll keep this in mind, you guys. Thanks for the uh, advice. Uh, but with no further ado, we're going to shut it down. Because I've got to catch a lift to work. So you guys, if you want to support this ministry and uh, get me back and forth to my day job, and maybe even uh, really help me save lives ultimately. Um, do uh, paypal.me backslash brother dank. You can email dankministries at gmail.com. Follow me across your preferred platforms outside of Periscope. Definitely subscribe to my YouTube and stay up today. All right, I want to welcome though. Don't forget to look Barber up. Harper, Harper. Okay, Harper, tweet that at me. That's the sort of thing you want to tweet at brother dank on Twitter so I can just click through. And that way we're also connected on Twitter. It's at Brother Dank. No dots, no dashes, underscores, uh, or special characters, or numbers, or anything. Just one word, at Brother Dank. Forget about all the bull and just concentrate on getting the stuff I want. I got the V2K2. Everybody's got it. And, like, I'm not. you can't be scared of it. Like, it, it's a non-lethal weapon, right? So, I mean, if you're experiencing something in the targeted individual program, for the most part, you have to keep your own head and maintain and, and make sure you're in charge of the fucking program. Because anything you hear on the line is likely going to be bullshit until you like pump it with a lot of love and purify that shit out and let every human being on the line know that you're a fucking human being and you're not going to be fooled. Alright? Um, but that's all i got for you today. I'm going to go off to the J-Job. Stay up. Oh, and blessings. Dos Fedonia. I'm sorry I don't speak the language, uh, Sepro, but I'm following you. Thank you, guys. Give thanks. <laughs>